They're a very popular band um, in England. I think in many places throughout the world. I think you know they even had the heyday here in the United States. You mm -hmm. know they had a couple of songs that really hit it really big. Um, I think there's no other way. There's no other way. That song really hit it big in the early '90s. I don't, I don't know it. There's no other way. There's no know. other way. Ah, <laughs> that that's a great song. In fact, you know what? Maybe I'll have you listen to that, react to that. Well, now so, I know it because you just, you know. I just I'll killed react it. To you, I dude. just killed it. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. I don't know if I want to hear that. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Into the Music. I'm Chris. I'm here with Greg. And Greg's got something for me to react to. So lay it on me, dude. I'll lay on you uh, Coffee and TV by Blur. That's what I'm laying on you. One of my favorite things. Yeah, cool. Good. Well, I rare you know, I rarely watch TV when I'm drinking coffee, actually. Is that true? It's what are true. you doing when you drink it's coffee? It's not interest it's not an interesting statement, but it's true. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I don't even know why I told you that. But anyway. A viewers um, out there like, you know, he's right. It's not interesting. So wait, you, got coffee, you got coffee and TV. Coffee and TV by Blur. You know you know we okay. you I know the, group the name blur. of the band coffee and TV. I don't know. Yeah. But you know the group blur, right? You I know of them, yes. Yeah. I don't really know them. All right. So um yeah, go check it out, man. Come on back and we'll tell me that. what you think. I'm really okay. curious. Okay.
I see you back. What What do you think? What say you? I say. I yeah. Liked it. I liked yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I liked the 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 chord progression was interesting and kind of like it was easy going at the same time. Yeah. You know, um, and, and that rhythm was good. And um, the I, I love the guitar, the lead guitar work. OK, um, that lead break was fantastic. I love I love when they do some with that distortion things. kind of sound. Yes. Yeah. And then they yeah. did some some guitar fills later on. Yes. That were really like. At the end, really like, I think boom, yeah, the know. singing was done and they were kind of throwing some stuff in there. Well, they were throwing, the yeah, yeah, towards the end. Yeah, I would say the end. last third or so where they're doing stuff. Uh, yeah. Filling in some gaps there. But, um, yeah, so this, this was good. I liked it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I love like this song. I got more of their stuff because I always meant to. I just never really looked into them. You know, they, they, were, they, they were hit and miss band for me. And um, some of this stuff is really kind of – I don't know, lighter sort of. In, I don't know. Well, isn't uh, I, I? I heard somewhere or read somewhere that one of their big influences was the Kinks. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, yeah, no doubt, absolutely. You're right on that. Um, but they also had see their front man Damon Albon, and I believe he is the guy who sings for Gorillas, right? So oh, we reacted okay. to that about a couple of months okay. ago, yeah. and so Damon was their lead singer for a lot of the songs. Um, this song is actually written by and also sung by the band's guitarist, Graham Coxon. So you had a little switch there. And so um, I'm not okay. saying I'm not saying that I don't like Damon Albarn stuff, but um, this I don't know. I just I this is a really down to earth sort of stripped down. And it's interesting because from what I understand, it's on an album um, that is uh, that it's called 13. And it's got a lot of like that distorted guitar that we heard a little bit in the song. Mm -hmm. it seems to have a lot of that throughout the album. That this is kind of like you know off the beaten path. You know this song okay. compared okay. to the rest of the songs on the okay. album. So I'd be curious. You know that's all that said. I wouldn't mind like you know digging into this album a little bit deeper and like you know check out a couple of stuff. Is it their thirteenth um, album? So um, like that. So actually, this is their sixth studio album. And this okay. was recorded in 1999. Are they still together? Oh, no, the guys with Gorillas, so they're not a, together anymore, right? They formed in 1988. That was a long time ago, man. And actually, Wiki is saying that they're present. Um, but they had hiatuses between 2004, 2008, and 2016 and 2018. But they're okay. a band. But that said... The last album is 2015, The Magic Whip. So they haven't put anything out in the last six years. Okay. Um, you know what? For a band that was around a long time, though. Yeah, 33 have, years ago. So they have um, eight albums. So you would think they would have more. But again, I think, you know, they've had those hiatuses and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, inside projects and stuff. Yeah. But they are, they're a very popular band um, in England. I think in many places throughout the world. I think, you know, they even had the heyday here in the United States. You mm -hmm. know, they had a couple of songs that really hit it really big. Um, I think There's No Other Way. There's No Other Way. That song really hit it big in the early 90s. I don't, I don't know it. There's no other way. There's no know. other way. Ah. <laughs> that That's a great song. In fact, you know what? Maybe I'll have you listen to that, react to that. Well, now so, I know it because you just, you know. I just I'll killed react it. To you, I dude. just killed it. Right yeah, just yeah. I don't know if I want to hear that. <laughs> so just about the song, because I think you'll really find it interesting. Like I said, it was written by the band's guitarist uh, Graham Coxon. He sang it, and the lyrics describe Coxon's struggle with alcoholism. And the song's video, um, you got to check it out because it's really cool. It's a milk carton that has his has his face on the side, and he's searching for Coxon. Um, and they, you, he winds up, well, I'm not going to tell you because you don't like me telling you, the ends, but you got to go check out the video. It's really good. You know, so the way they have it sort of all sort of laid out with the music, it's really effective and it's kind of cute and funny too, you mm -hmm. know? Um, so yeah, but just for him to actually, um, sing about his addiction and trying to, you know, kick it 
and just a couple lyrics. Um, the first verse, do you feel like a chain store? Practically floored, one of many zeros, kicked around, bored. Your ears are full, but you're empty, holding out your heart to people who never really cared how you are. So, and then the chorus, just the one time of the chorus, and then I'll stop. Uh, so give me coffee and TV easily. I've seen so much, I'm going blind and I'm brain dead virtually. Sociability is hard enough for me. Take me away from this big bad world and agree to marry me so we can start over again. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of like, you know, you know, someone in his life, you know, help me sort of move forward and onward, you know. So cool. Good. Cool. I'm glad you like this, man. Yeah, I did. So go take it out. All right. So uh, thanks for watching. And we hope you like this song, too, like we did. And we'll catch you all next time on Into the Music. See ya.